Hey, we're on. Hold on. I'm going to introduce you. You step back. Okay. okay. Go ahead and share the feed. <clears throat> Hey everybody, welcome to the After the Show show with Chad and Cameron. Take a minute, share this with your friends because we have some absolute behind the scenes things tonight. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? We're going to be joining you guys in just a moment. Share, hit the share button, and we are going to have an incredible Q&A tonight with Cameron Bartlett. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? We're going to be joining you guys in just a moment. Share, hit the share button, and we are going to have an incredible Q&A tonight with Cameron Bartlett. Hey, what's going on? We're going to be joining you guys in we have some questions. If you have questions, I want you to share them with us tonight. And um, we're from our we're in our home tonight because we had a, a blizzard blow through Oklahoma, and it's I don't know what our temperature is right now. It's currently we're sitting at a nice, cool, crisp three degrees. So without any further ado, I know you guys all watch the show. Just take a minute. Hit the share button because tonight there are going to be some things we're going to tell you about that you didn't see in the show. And it's going to be some pretty interesting things now that Cameron is literally in the final four. I cannot believe this. So without any further ado, get your hands together and welcome Cameron. Hey. Hello. Welcome, welcome. It feels weird not having the audience. I know. It's lame. Okay. But Next I'm week, we can tell you this. Next <laughs> week, we will be for sure back at the church doing the Q&A. So, everybody, don't worry. We'll be back. And we will be at our 6 o'clock time next week. So, don't forget that. Next week, 6 o'clock. We also have on the bottom of this feed, uh, right in the information, or if you want to get your Kanye Pepper t-shirt, Get them while they're, well, it'll, it'll warm you up because it's so cold outside. So get those things quickly and the hot uh, peppers. The hot peppers. It'll keep you I'm going to look on here and see who's all and on. And Norman, right now, you guys, you don't even know, everybody watching from around the world, it is three degrees outside of our house right now. It is so cold. It's been snowing all day. We are trapped inside. And I'm about to go, um, I'm about to have cabin fever. Yeah, it's, it's been one day. I have a little bit of cold. Um, Kelly, Damon, uh, E, uh, Amber, Cindy, everybody, you gotta mute that audio, there you go. Everybody right now hit the share button because we have some really neat behind the scenes things that we're going to be talking about. The Worst Cook Season 21, Episode 7. We find Cameron. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? We will be back at the church at 6 o'clock next Sunday for the watch party. You're in the semifinals. I don't know. You guys, if you like that, you got to give thumbs up because we can't hear your class tonight. <laughs> so give us some thumbs up. Uh, Pam, what's going on? I hope you all got to watch the show. We found Cameron in the danger zone yet yeah. again where he lives with Chef Ann yeah, on their private <laughs> island of uh, Misfit Toys. So, interact with us tonight. Give some questions because there's one really cool thing that did not, they did not mention it, but it's probably one of the biggest things Thanks, in Samantha. the season. Hey, Samantha. Hey, Samantha, what's going on? Who's, all right. Who else? I know all the people. Christine, the what's going on? Uh, you guys, please text us your questions. We're going to run here for a few minutes again. Uh, before we get into the questions, <coughs> if you want to get the t-shirts and any of this gear, we have some great things online, and I, I think you're going you're gonna to love it. We have some brand new t-shirts. Go there. There's a link. Just click on it. Or you can go to GoChurch.tv, and there's a store. The store's on there. Um, that way we didn't have to build a whole new website. But tonight's episode was really crazy. Crazy. And, and they didn't even show, like... Well, don't tell them yet. Okay. What, 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 what I, what, yeah, you, you've got to share. Hey, let's get let's get like fifty people watching here tonight. Because this is this is something really behind the scenes. There are actually a few of us that did know this, but anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> it was the first time that I've seen 
anybody or the, the show do sweets. They don't do sweets that often. And I guess it was because Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Oh, yes. uh, that was something that I've never seen horse cooks in America. We're all tracking our houses. Do, I know. Each other's Valentine's. So here, here, this is what you do. Um, you come and hang out with us. Kim, how's it going? Hi, I'm Mercer. Uh, yes. And Cindy says, Cameron Island, it was definitely Cameron Island. I think at one point in time, I did a commercial. I hope they show that before I go. <laughs> it's, uh, it was a commercial and commercial for the danger zone, you know. How many times were you in the danger zone right now? <laughs> Up to this point, you've been in the... There's seven <laughs> weeks, and you've been in the danger zone four? At least six out of them. I no, swear, I think... Okay. Mean, Laura was last week's danger zone. JJ was in there once. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I think the rest of the times are me. So if there's been six episodes, four of them, yeah. Okay, so four of the episodes, four out of the six, have been Cameron in the Danger Zone. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. Um, yeah. But you know what? I'm not kidding you. Whenever I was there, it would freak me out. But then eventually I was like, okay, actually, I, I should use this to my advantage. Right. Chef Ann is like world renowned chef. I'll just ask her questions. I'll be like, so what do I do now? And she'd be like, okay! And just like, because she's, she's very much of a teacher in that aspect. She she does like, she wants to tell you, you know, what to do. And I'll listen. I'll, I'm a good listener. Oh, yeah. I'm an okay listener. Shay, what's going on? <laughs> you guys have questions. Um, be sure you get them. I, I would assume, because they know when these shows are going to air. Obviously, tonight was more the romance and the sweets. So, mm. let's just get right in. I want you to share, because this is right now, this did not make, it made the show as a, as a really, as an oops, because the timing of the interviews and things like this, but during the, when they divided the teams up, and they picked you and Amber to be the, um, put your face into the cake. So, oh let's God. talk about this game. Share this right now. You are going to hear something like National Enquirer. This is really cool that no one knows except for a handful of us that saw you when you got off the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, okay, so I was so excited about this episode because I love, like, you know, food's great, but sweet treats, that's where it's at for me. So when I knew you were going to be making cakes, I was super jazzed about that. So, um... You know, and it was a lot harder than I thought it would be because, like, we, they thought we didn't have to bake the cakes, but, like, frosting those things, it was so difficult because that tray would move, and, like, you would think it's a good thing, but, like, it would just mainly just slide around that thing. And then, like, the frosting was, like, in, I'm sure it was refrigerated before they gave it to us, so it was kind of hard, so we had to, like, mush it up a lot and, like, get it on there. That's what took me forever to get all the So you didn't have to make the cakes. They were already no, there. No, it was just a replication, so we had to, like, Get all the cake ingredients and then slap it together to make it look like that unicorn cake. And my unicorn cake did not look like a unicorn cake. <laughs> it looked like a, it looked like okay, it looked like a swirly turtle. It, yeah. I mean, it looked, it like, looked like it came out of the unicorn, uh, maybe not uh, on the unicorn cake. Came out of the back end of the unicorn. <laughs> okay, so did you get to take a bite of the cake? No. They that's took that's them away from us before we could eat them. We did get to try our cupcakes. And mine was really good, you guys. Like, I didn't deserve to be in the danger zone, and I think everybody knew that there. Even after, okay, so after that episode, um, Chef Ann came up there and was like, don't worry about this, you know, shrug off that loss today. You know, not really, because I ended up winning the pasta challenge. But like, she was like, don't worry about that. You'll be fine coming here fresh the next day and do great. And so making the cakes, that was a whole other day. So after I knew I was going to be in the danger zone, we braked. And then the next day we did the pasta. So that's like the main dish elimination challenge. So, um, so that made me really nervous being in the danger zone. But I did get a day in between. So like, yeah. so, but after we did the cakes, Chef Ann, she was like, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. And so, I was. And yeah. did. Jonathan Hurts on there. And he said your cake, your cupcake was good. <gasps> Thanks, JJ. <laughs> JJ is JJ. a contestant. Man, we gotta bring you on, JJ. Um, Mine was that. so good, and JJ's was good. And you know what? Okay, so we, um, I at first was gonna do. Uh, I gotta shoot some love out to almond, JJ's. Almond and strawberry, but then JJ was like, I'm gonna do strawberry and something and lemonade. 
And I was like, oh. And like, we had done the same like Asian inspired chicken. And like, we were about like to get into it. And I was like, no, 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 okay, you can have the strawberries. Cause it was like, it was almost like, okay, you're stealing his ideas. And I was like, okay, no, I promise I'm not giving that. You can have the strawberries. <laughs> so I grabbed the raspberries and I was like, what goes good with raspberries? And Sherry almost like, chocolate, you idiot. I was like, oh yeah, okay. But like, I can't think of, I'm telling you, the whole time, I think the hardest thing for me was like making up those flavor combinations because it was like, you really did have to think on the spot and like, I don't know how to mix flavors together to make them taste good. How many on here have ever made cupcakes? Tell us what your cupcakes are, your favorite combination. You might as well do that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's now, we know, the final four have um, Cameron and um, JJ <laughs> battling it out. And um, this is going to be, um, I don't know, it's going to be an exciting finish yeah, yeah. to the season. Is, um, is I, And the previews for next episode were hilarious. Oh my God, I can't wait. I already can't <laughs> wait. I'm like, oh Lord, help me wait for the week. Um, anyway, next Sunday we'll be back at 6 o'clock to do our little pre-game. Hey, I, like, I will make cupcakes next week. Cupcakes. If you come cupcakes. and watch, Cameron will make cupcakes at... For the child, all those that attend the watch party. So let's get to the, I mean, the, the surprise thing. So they have a competition where they're bashing their faces into cupcakes. You guys saw that? Give it, give it some <laughs> thumbs or some hearts because this is totally behind the scenes that they did not mention, which I'm kind of surprised. Oh yeah, I am too. Okay, so and I did um, text one of the producers. I was like, what the heck? You didn't put like the best part of the Thank show. You on uh, the TV. So um, so we're smashing into these cakes. And I'm telling you, I cannot breathe. I am more like clogged up than I am already now. And I was, so I was like smashing into every single one. And then I was like, I didn't feel a thing. And so I went back into grabbing them. And when I did, it was like, Amber and I both went to the same one, but I went down to the tray. Cause her head was, almost, it was like kind of already in the cake. And I busted my front tooth. I chipped it. it, it and okay, I have you got a picture. picture to you have to go, it. go to the screen. All right. So this was me in the dentist. Or JJ just asked how your tooth was. So, all right, look at this. This was. Okay, so this is a picture of me after I had chipped my tooth. On uh, on the show, and this was me back in the dentist chair. There's my little dentist bib uh, in Norman. I had to wait all, you know. And so here I am now. They're gorgeous. But it was like for a minute there, I was like, oh, my gosh. I have a chip, too. It was, okay. Now, this is funny, too, because we really, we couldn't ask, and we were all kind of what we could say. But when you come back with a chip tooth, that was like, okay, what I happened? I cannot tell people what happened. They're now, like, if you Ooh. saw the preview for next week, I, if you didn't see it, I'm not going to tell you about it. you got to watch the episode. But there, it, that was a really great, hilarious preview of a game they're doing next week. But again, if you didn't watch it, uh, you'll have to go back and watch the episode. So, um, in, the, in, the, in the words of my great colleague, oh, well, Michelle. <laughs> JJ, we love you. JJ, you are awesome this year. Um, I'm a huge fan of the show, and I've got to tell you this. <laughs> season 21. Hi, has, Christine. Um, hey, Christine. Or Kristen. Kristen, oh. Kristen, you're messing me up here. Uh, it's probably one of the best shows, the best, best seasons. Tammy has been very, Tammy, I know she's on Facebook. I was watching her while watching the show, and Tammy did a great, a great year. Um, it was just an awesome you were very, very hilarious. So I know you got great things. I'm, I'm sure planned for the future. But the cast all, all together was was great. So you bash your face, you chip your tooth. Did it bother you? It you hurt. Were... So okay. So yeah. So I was like, oh god, something is wrong. And I, you know, I was like, okay, we're fine. Just keep going. And then she found the cupcake, and I was like, oh shit. And I had frosting from head to toe, like all over me. And I like had, you know, full thing of cake in my face and in my mouth. And I was like, can I spit this out? And, she, and I remember them saying, no, no, wait, wait till I get the shot. And I was like, I'm going to have a cake. So finally, I, you know, I spit it out and I was like, guys, is there something wrong with my tooth? And they were like, no. And then I go up to Chef Ann, I'm like, Chef Ann, is there something wrong? She was like, oh my God, call the medic, Cameron chicken's tooth. 
And I was like, no! And I was like, I was, okay, I was emotional, but not because of the stupid tooth, but because I missed out on the golden cupcake. And that granted you... That was huge. Immunity! So, like, if you had gotten that, you were safe no matter how crap your dish was. So, oh, yeah. I mean, I evidently had pulled it off. I'm safe till another week. But, oh, man, we, it was... Now, I've never seen the, that before where they didn't, um, or contestant didn't get kicked off. I, I've never seen an immunity that that's huge. We all don't <laughs> have survivor fans. Um, we see that all the time, but... Um, but JJ says I was mortified. I really was. I was like, I can't go on TV like this. I was like asking them, like, do you guys have something I can like? You got a fake teeth, or can put a fake Go shirt, back and skin. watch the show. Now this is what's crazy. Go back and watch the show, and during the interview, the whole interview, he's got the chip too. You can tell. During the entire thing, and it hadn't happened yet. So that was kind of one of those, ah, oh, when did they do the interviews? There you go. There that you go. hadn't even happened yet. And so sometimes I noticed today, like one episode, my hair was crazy town. We gotta and then one hair. episode, my hair was like back to whenever I, we first started filming. But I mean, you know, with those two weeks in quarantine, like, I, yeah, my hair was long. Okay, I, so yeah, you noticed this hair, it has evolved since episode one. Go to YouTube, Cameron Bartlett's channel, and we have, or on Facebook, whatever. We have, so far, I'm trying to get a highlight reel for the whole thing, but the first episode, the hair. Let's talk about the evolution of the cam hair. And I if you have questions, day by day. please put them in right now, put them in the bottom. All right, go ahead. So, what was the deal with the hair? So, um, I think I explained it too uh, in one of my interviews, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. So eventually, my hair just got too difficult to manage. So every day, I tried to put it, you know, in some sort of like form or fashion that looked, like, you know, manageable and looked, you know, nice. But at some point, I was just like, you know what? I don't care. And when you're getting up at like five o'clock in the morning every single day just to just barely get awake and you know be okay for the day, um, I got my um, hair volumizer and just shoved it all in my hair. And then I blow dry it out. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I just sprayed it. And so by the end, like it was just it looks like crazy out. But I was like, you know what? It was hilarious. This looks like Chef Ann. And so I started doing like the little swoop like she has and the little poofy hair. And Chef Ann was eating that up. I was like, you <laughs> like it? I do too, actually. That's what I do. Um, that's what probably kept you in the show. So <laughs> We, we have an evolution of hair, we have Kanye Pepper, we have Cameron Island, we have... <laughs> like Ace Ventura. Everybody thought I looked like Ace Ventura. I was like, I've never seen that movie, but okay, great. Oh, God, that is so <laughs> funny. Um, a crazy, yeah, the, the crazy hair was, was great. So, crazy hair don't care. Yeah, so now we're, we're into, you, you've done the cakes, you've done the game, and now we're into the part of the episode where it's, where it's go home. And you're in the danger zone again. Were you surprised to be in the danger zone? Or should JJ or Michaela have been in the danger zone? No, they would have been great. It is fine. I actually, I don't remember if I tasted theirs. If I did, I probably, I don't know. But um, no, I was like, okay, probably did deserve to be in that because of like the flavor combination was a little off with like, I think it was like too chocolatey to the raspberry. So it's just kind of like one of those things. But, um, so yeah, I was in the danger zone, but in that interview, I was like, you know, I'm just going to use this to my advantage. Like, if I have any questions, I'm just going to ask her. And I'm glad I did, because that round, I was really lost. Like, I was cracked up how she kept saying, no, 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 <laughs> no, not that. I, I would have been like, hey, do you want champagne? Just go ahead and cook with just, me. Just go ahead and cook with me. She's almost your sous Yeah, because, well, okay, so the reason I had such a hard time picking out, like, the meat, the protein for the dish was because she used like sausage or whatever, but I didn't think we could use like ground beef. Like I didn't think we could replicate hers. And I was like, well, if I did that, it'd be almost like copying hers. So I was like, well, because we had to come up with our own flavor combination. So I was like, uh, chicken? She was like, oh God, no. Like everything I kept telling her, she was like, uh, no, absolutely not. And I was like, okay, okay. Just tell me what you want here. And so I finally figured it out, and I think I used, I used like ground beef, but then I also used uh, ground lamb. And so it was really, or maybe it was just ground lamb. Yeah. I think it was, because um, 
I used like a Greek inspired ragu dish. So, it was Mediterranean. With a whole lot of olives. <laughs> oh, God. So, alright, so we have um, um, Cameron, Michaela, JJ, and um, you're in the danger zone. Now, because you've been in the danger zone so much, I think all but one week. We're going to go back two. and watch two. All yeah. but two weeks. Um, because you've not been in the danger zone, or you've been in the danger zone so much, was it almost like um, your home away from home and you were glad to be back? Who was the girl who was in there last week? Um, Laura. 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 Laura, Laura she, was in there last week. She was uh, removed from the show because of her dish. So she was gone. <laughs> from the show. <laughs> Eliminated. Eliminated. <laughs> and um, you look at that, she was in the danger zone. Is that thing in, I mean, are you thinking about that in the back of your mind? I mean, you know, or how do you feel about the danger zone at now? At first, I really, because they explained it, but I really, I'm really bad at like half in, half out kind of listening. So I was like, okay, you mean to tell me, so if you get in the danger zone, then you're going home, right? But no, that wasn't the case. No. So even if your dish got you to the danger zone, but then the dish you made in the danger zone, that could have been really good. And I used the help that chef in made me in the danger zone to do so well and to improve. Because it really was more or less like a one-on-one because -on -one, she's right above you. She can see everything you're doing. So I was like, okay, that's a little, I can use this for my advantage now. But at first I did think that like every time you're in the danger zone, you're probably going to help. You looked a lot more comfortable in the danger zone this week as opposed to the first week. First week you look yeah. like, oh my god, I, I thought okay. you're done, you're going home, I mean it's over. Um, <laughs> so you made it this far, the final four, right? We're at the final four. Final four. And um, who knows what well, again, next week we will be back with cupcakes. With cupcakes. Um, so tell your friends and um, you never know what, what kind of surprises we have. We 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 love doing this right now in a snowstorm, but so you made it to the end, you cooked your dish, and um, you know that you're, you know, you're, you're pick number one, which is great. Your best, best meal of the day. So you have nothing to worry about going home. That's got to be a sigh of relief. I know JJ, he's on here. I was Michaela, but you get Michaela on here. I'd I love know. to know what she's doing right now. Um, I was so sad. I, like, I was sad for everybody, of course. Yeah. You go home, but like, with JJ, you cried. No, JJ cried for everybody. So. JJ, he's <laughs> got a soft heart. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, my God. And, um, but, yeah, so whenever she, Michaela went home, she was my buddy. She's my pal. And uh, when she went home, I did shed a tear or two. I was pretty sad about that. Was, yeah, when we oh, watched oh, it back. Like, um, like, you really don't want to watch anybody go, but I was like, oh. It was just, it was painful. Yeah. I knew that, like, after I had made, you know, obviously it was those two, so I was like, Ugh. just, you know, you feel so sad. You're like, you were happy, but you're also like, ugh. It's, you get to develop relationships. And again, unlike the other seasons, you had two weeks where you're, you're hanging out together. You, mm -hmm. you know, you at least kind of, you get this bond uh, that you normally don't get to go. Does anybody have any questions? Please write that in there right now. I'm going to scroll through this again. People are making comments like crazy. Uh, oh, do we know the theme for next week? No, we can't say. No, well, the Capri View. Well, the preview said something. I, they're we're dressed in some kind of costumes and pancakes. We can tell you that. Again, we can't talk about anything, or he can't because I wasn't on the show. But <laughs> um, he can't talk about anything that's not what you have seen. So next week, but there appears to be an accident from the preview that we've seen. It so was we have to early one. Chip too. And they showed it in slow motion, so we're not giving anything away that is not like Oh, creepy. after this, after tonight's debacle with the chipping the tooth, Chef Han said that that game is banned and they're never allowed to do that again. That's funny. That is funny. So, no longer will you, never again will you see a cake smash on Morse Cooks. I think. Which and is a pity. And you guys, give me some hearts if you think this season. They have really, those, those of you that watched it, they have really upped the entertainment value. Oh, the games the, the and stuff games, so much fun. But the people involved in the show, the cast, um, I, the I can't tell chef you. special chef came in. Tell me who your favorite, right now, um, who's your favorite, of course, Cameron, but who's okay. your favorite cast member? I, I love Amber. I love Michaela. Um, 
let me see who are some of my other favorites that I'm just like, oh. I, as a fan from the show, so write down who you are, some of your fan favorites, I right. guess. Uh, what is that? Ashley says, leave it up to you to get something canceled. <laughs> yeah, that was a show. That's funny. Um, but so who are who are some of your memorable ones that you just like, wow, these are what which we I, Mo, 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 man, I hope Mo's watching. Mo's been no, someone that we we talked to him. No, he is so funny. I can't wait for him to come to Oklahoma. He actually sent us a treat. Mm-hmm. Um over I guess it was Christmas or yeah. your birthday somewhere. It in was here. my birthday, yeah. He sent me some baklava. We need to do a little advertisement. Mo's yep. baklava. It, it was amazing. What's the name of the company? It was Moklava. So like Baklava is B-O-V-A-L-K-A and Moklava is M-O-K. L-A, I don't remember now. But, um... Yeah. You check that out. It's <laughs> it was one, so good. It's from Seattle. Uh-huh. Most, and, and their, their, business, their family has this business. Um, but he's really a great guy. We've met just through, just through well, Joy. Oh my God, it seems like a lifetime since Joy's been on there. Um, and again, she was only on for one episode, but her, she was very yeah, memorable. She, yeah. And um, so if you have someone that is your favorite, write that in. We'll talk about them here. But we're going to um, hope I tell us what the weather is like where you're at here. We're looking, looking out at about a foot drift or more. And we're Oklahoma, that's insane. That's why we're in the house tonight instead of at church. We'll be back next Sunday night, 6 o'clock. Go to the store. Check that store out. And... Um, Buy you some products, um, Cameron and some friends, um, Courtney and um, Sierra. They modeled some great gear, but it's been a great season. It's been a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We we know you're on next week. It's the semifinals. We are getting down to the end of this. I'm getting more nervous. Tonight was definitely nerve wracking for with, sure with the sweet thing. But so this is this two weeks in a row that you finished to the top to yeah. the lobster risotto. Yeah. So from awesome. bottom to top all the time, um, Chef Ian was like, peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. Because like I would do good in like the the not main dish cook, the, uh, what is it called? What is it? I don't know. The the trial run or whatever. And, or the skill drill cook is what it's called. So like I would do good in those, but then do terrible in the main dish. And so I was just constantly back up and down. Um, but definitely, by far, Kristen asked this question. Yes, your favorite question. dish was, my favorite dish was the lobster risotto. Oh, it was so good. And that was like the first time I was in the bo- or in the top, like, you know, the that top person. That was the first time. So that it was, was like, the, when you kissed the wow. fish, uh, that was a great episode. Go back and watch these. Yeah. Um, I'll be having some highlights on Facebook. Um, you fixed that for your friends, the lobster risotto I last did. week. I did. I tried it. It was it was really not bad. I was I was surprised. Not bad. It was delicious. It was okay. It was, it was really good. Chef Ann said she would love to eat it again. What you should do is just freeze some up and ship it to her. Ship it to her. Ship it to her. No, you're thinking about me. Uh, but that's a great question. It's it's been so much fun. We've had a great time with you guys this season, and we hopeful. Uh, you know, next week we, you never know what's going to happen, but it looks like a very entertaining um, episode. You guys watch it. Come join us at Go Church at 6 o'clock next Sunday night. Come get your picture taken. Get you a Kanye Pepper t-shirt. This has been a lot of fun for us, and it's it's been a great distraction for what's going on in the world, and we hope it is for you um, and those of us in Oklahoma that are from Oklahoma to Texas with a snowstorm. Hopefully, this helped warm your, your evening up, but we really appreciate you guys watching, being a part of our family. And um, anything else you want to add to? I'm going to go turn the camera on. No. Come by next week for a Cameron Cupcake. Bye.